a pain in the ass. Sometimes you do want to go do other things. Sometimes you want to leave an event right away. But you got to understand how important your fans are, and 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 we do. And I'm at a charity. Not event. that we're on the same level as a Derek Jeter, but uh, I think that's what Jimmy's getting at. Yes. We went to Tower Records two, three weeks ago. We were supposed to be there maybe an hour and a half, two hours. We spent five hours there because we wanted to make sure everyone went away with a a nice impression of us and the show, and and uh, and and have them walk away with a picture of us or an autograph. And we even we had about 600 people there. There's probably maybe 150 people more. Jeter Jeter had like seven or eight hundred people there. We had about 600 people at, at the Tower event thing. Uh -huh. I even said we even hustled the line so nobody would be kept off the yeah, line. Yeah, because Tower Records wanted to shut it they down. They wanted to shut it down. So we're like, we all right, let's at least everybody. hurry people through this so everyone gets a chance and a quick moment, to say hi. A genuine hello. Sometimes it's all you have time for. That's all I wanted out of Larry. Hey, man, nice to see you. Go on, you know. You know that was surprising that it's he not, just Not liked. to me, it's not, because they're all like that. You know what has to be said, too, and I have no idea about Derek Jeter at all. I want to state that. But a lot of these things that these athletes and these celebrities do, they're doing it because they need a tax write-off. And they, well, they, they don't, don't really give a crap about the actual cause. And like I said, I'd say that knowing nothing about Derek Jeter and what he's doing. I'm, I'm whatever the charity. That's why you'll have a million stories of these guys, you know, doing something nice, but they're blowing everyone off because they're just going through the motions uh, to get the tax write off. And to the guy who said, "How old are you?" I'm 37. It's common knowledge. I like to do this, dude. It's yeah. what I like about being in show business is that occasionally one of the things I like you get access to things like that. That's what's fun for me. You like to drink. You like to do what you do. You okay. That's what I like to do. Well, that and prostitution. Those are the things I like to do. So what team are you going to root for now that you're not I want to see the Red fan. Sox smash them. Because, dude, it wasn't just What Peter. about the Tigers? Uh, Detroit's having a great year. I care about any of that stuff. It, it's just Boston is the ones. What well, about the Pirates? Sox um, is the insult. Yeah. The, Sox is, is the insult. I met a few Sox of them. Makes it personal, they were yeah. nice. Every Yankee I met, except for Giambi, was not nice. Even the ones that stopped were not nice, and they didn't want to stop. And I, I know they didn't want to stop. So. All right, let's go to Matt in Westchester. Matt, what's up? we got to wrap this up and move on to some other things. we got Bob Kelly in studio playing Caroline's here in New York City all weekend long. I heard he killed last night. A lot of fans went and uh, checked out Bob. Uh, Matt, go ahead. Yeah, hey, how you doing? Hey. Uh, you know, Jimmy, you, you remind me of that uh, that, that old lady in uh, that scene in The King of Comedy when uh, Jerry Lewis is walking right. down the street, and uh, and she stops him. She's like, hey, hey, I, I want an autograph. It's for my sister. It's for my sister. I can't, I can't, I can't. No, really, please, please, please. And he's like, no, I can't, I can't. She walks away. She screams, you should get cancer. I hope you get cancer. Well, what she wanted, dude, and this happened to me last night, she wanted Jerry to talk to her nephew on the phone. On the phone. I had a guy stop me when I walked in. Dude, big fan. Love your stuff. Thanks, man. Would you mind signing something for my nephew? So I mm. signed it. No problem. Um, hey, sure, man. Happy to do it. And then he goes, well, would you mind talking to him? And I'm like, I can't. I was actually going. I was actually at the beach. Oh. I think a lot of people went to that event last night, by the way, thinking they were going to hobnob. With, and it was so obvious yeah. that they, we were completely separated from, from, from all the, quote, celebrities that were there. Completely Separate from you got to be realistic. So wait, wait, wait. So she asked you to talk, and you Die. and you said no. He asked me to. You know, he didn't have a phone out. It wasn't like he had the phone right here. Oh. He was just gonna call and see if the guy was there. To yeah. Talk. I'm not, no, I'm not doing that. I was, I was actually, the, I was trying to get to where Jita was to get. This is way early in the evening. Uh, but I, I signed something. Mm -hmm. I was polite to the guy. I was like, hey man, thanks for being a fan. I appreciate it. And that was it. All right. So Did he go away fine, or was he pissed that you didn't? Yeah, he was cool. Oh, thanks thing. for stopping, man. No, he understood. I wasn't being a dick. I wasn't mm -hmm. rude. All right, listen. We go. I mean, the last hour has been unbelievable, and we could easily do another hour on this easily. But we have to take a trip to Mantown after the break.